Oh hey there, welcome to the channel. Figured I'd just make a quick channel intro video and kind of just give a rundown of what this channel is going to be. Um, go over the who, what, when, where, and the why. Um, let's start with the who. The who, myself, my wife, my two kids, a uh, boy and a girl, both uh, one and three years old, the dog I guess, and maybe some extended family you may see from time to time. The when. Uh, we're starting off April 2020. Just for the record, uh, we're just finished week four of this coronavirus shutdown. Um, just for the record, you know that. Um, and we have been living here for about six months. We've owned the place almost two years, so there's some work that's been done already that's not been really documented. Uh, a little bit of it has, but a lot, most of it hasn't. Um, so the, that was the who and the when. The what, well, little backyard mini homestead, micro farm, um, backyard gardening, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll use that homestead term because, well, I want to use it. And it seems to be uh, the cool thing to do these days. Um, so that's the what and the why. Why grow your own food? Why not? Um, we have the opportunity here to see what we can do, test ourselves, and get fresh food from our own little garden that we know has uh, no pesticides or, you know, bad stuff at it. And, you know, a little bit of self-sustainability never hurt anybody. We'll see what we can actually get out of it. Um, we're in the very beginning stages here, but, you know, it'd be cool to get a certain percentage of your weekly, monthly, yearly food from your own backyard. Why not? Um, so, let's see. We got the who, the when, the what, the why, the where. Last one's the where. Where are we? Beautiful spring afternoon here, about six o'clock, and we are somewhere in California. And it's just absolutely beautiful out today. Uh, perfect day. We did some work earlier. There'll be a video coming out on that. Um, some blueberries, I know not blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, boysenberries went in. So beautiful California, that is the where. Well, I'm gonna finish up this beer and then I'll give a quick overview. We're sitting on the deck right now, so I can actually show basically almost all the property from this vantage point. So let me finish up this beer and I'll give you a tour. All right, so here's the property overview. That big old citrus right there. That is the orange tree. That's what the house is named after. Uh, when we were fixing this place up to get moved in, our daughter was just, uh, just over two, I think. And we referred to this place as the orange tree house for her so she knew what we were talking about. So there's the orange tree. The other large citrus down there is another orange tree. These are both pretty old, but they do put off a lot of fruit. Behind this large, the really large one, is a, a lemon and a lime that you can't see. And the lemon came with the house. It's really beat up. The lime's new that we put in, and it's small but growing. And then in between, there's a novel we put there. That's what we're calling berry land. Um, we got blueberries in one row, and then blackberries, raspberries, boysenberries, and the next one. That's the video that's coming out soon. Um, then we have the orchard down the way. I'll do a walkthrough on that pretty soon. This whole fence here was not here when we got here. I actually built that myself. First fence I've ever built. Feel pretty good about that. Didn't take any video on it. It was just a big old project and I just didn't want to deal with recording. Um, so then we've got a lot of open space here to be determined. We do have a layout board that um, my wife made, so that's cool. We can go over that. Little tangerine tree right here. This thing puts off just amazing quality fruit, beyond tasty, beyond juicy. Really, really good. So that thing's awesome. Uh, come out a little further. Well, let's go down here real quick. Basically just a miscellaneous area. I mean, this this is it's really flat right here, but 
happens. I mulched it a while back. It's got nothing really going on. The septic tanks are under here. That's a grill right there, but the septic tank's under there. And so back to the middle, all this open space. And let's go back here. That hedge row, that decorative hedge is basically the property line. Then I've got some uh, stored resources here, some wood and some uh, sandstone rocks. Then let's let's just stay at that latitude there. We've got the chicken run. We just finished fencing that in. So now they won't come into our beds and pester them. There's the beds, four by 20. We got two of them. Those just went in a couple weeks ago. There's the main chicken hen house and the enclosed run. So that's the hen house. That whole area is an enclosed run. We open the door out and let them into the day run there so that they can get good foraging and not have to, uh, and not come in and destroy our crops. And since we've been foraging every day, um, for the last four weeks, we've cut down on our uh, feed usage just dramatically. So that's really going good. Uh, then you get to the property line fence. That's the neighbor's yard on the other side of there. They actually just put in some avocados and citrus. That's really cool. Then you get to this area is a little slanted, um, but totally usable. Still not really sure what might go there. Um, could put really almost anything there. Could put a, just a ton of pole beans over there. Could add another avocado or two. Um, not really sure, but there is, everyone in this neighborhood has avocados. So I, I feel like we might just be good on one if others will be uh, willing to trade or whatever, have enough avocados to go around. But I still might want another one or two. And let's see, let's get over here. That is the fire pit slash outdoor cooking area in progress. I'll hopefully put out a couple videos on that as that thing gets built out. Um, got really in, well, I always wanted a fire pit area since I moved here and I thought that would be a good place for it. Um, and then I got real inspired by a couple of different channels that do a lot of outdoor cooking and Dutch oven cooking, that type of stuff and, and grilling as well. Um, Cowboy Kent Rollins and Townsend's channel. Those are two really cool channels I recommend checking out. Um, so then we wrap over here and that's about the end of this side of the yard. We have a little firewood over here. I mean, uh, so we have some potted stuff that's been getting going and we need to get it into the beds. But yeah, so that's about the gist of the this side of the house. Um, there's a little space between the fire area and this other area that's mulched so there's a little space here kids pool we were out in today is really su super fun um that's about the bulk of it there is another zone that's directly behind me i'm staying on the deck so behind me there's another zone to the house but it's basically completely disconnected from this side of it it had a lawn out there um totally usable we may end up just packing it with ton of different uh, bush beans, pole beans. I mean, I don't know what, but I'd like to crank out a lot of um, calories out of there, just a lot of food. So I don't know, I'll give a tour of that later. Um, but for now, this is the main gist of it. This is what we're looking at here. I would estimate that's like rough, roughly, probably 60% of an acre maybe, um, a little over half, I think, because the whole property is three quarter acre. Um, and where I'm standing is a little, it's probably two thirds up the way. Um, so the, there's the house and then the other yard. So this is probably looking at roughly half an acre. Anyways, not critical, but all the, all the houses in this area have an acre. This is one of the smaller lots, but it's really usable and flat. So it's actually one of the best lots. So it's really awesome. We're stoked on that. And uh, yeah, in the suburbs, just basically as far out as the suburbs go in this town. Um, any further you get to, I guess, what you'd call the exoburbs, you know, where you're just houses out and basically rural. But anyways, not critical, but that's about it for now. Um, thanks for joining and we'll see you as some more videos roll out. You know, there's one last thing I just want to add to this is that Really my goal here is just to entertain people as you follow along with our journey, inspire, you know, hopefully get some inspiration and ideas for you out there. Um, and maybe inform some, you know, you guys can learn something from here, I would hope. Um, I'm definitely not an expert here, so I'm just learning as I go. That's part of the fun. Really seeing uh, what I can 
you know, see what we can do here. This is going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching that, and please uh, do me a favor and give it a like and a subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, if you could drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. That'd be awesome. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.